If you're somebody who wants natural testosterone support, lower estrogen, a good mood, good libido, it's hard for me not to recommend this stack. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a little review on the muscle support stack from Vintage Muscle. So the only supplement from Vintage Muscle that I tried in this vial form was the EpiAndro. And to be honest guys, I have really bad side effects whenever I take any sort of hormone, whether it's melatonin, whether it's any testosterone. I would prefer to boost things naturally versus taking the straight hormone. My body always feels weird when I do that. So I kind of had a little bit of that weird vibe when I tried the EpiAndro, I could only get two days into to it in those two days it was super strong i wish i had got up to a week so i could have given you guys a little bit better of a review but but this stack is much more up my alley i really really like it and it's designed to lower your estrogen and increase your natural testosterone which always feels so much better to me i really wish vintage muscle would sell their products individually this comes as a stack there is no way to buy this individually there's no way to buy this individually and they have a supplement called methyl test it's featured in a lot of their stacks i absolutely love methyl test i gave some to my friend he liked it a lot as well but the only way to buy methyl test is by buying one of these compounds as well so I can't even recommend you guys buy it because you have to buy two compounds at once. So they could probably raise the price a little bit to incentivize you to buy this stack. And I think this stack is like 67 bucks, but if you use my discount code, it goes down to 50. I think that's a very affordable price for how potent these products are. Let's jump into the bad boy here, the potent anti-estrogen. So I Googled that compound on the back right there, the chemical formula, and apparently it's a metabolite of ATD. There isn't too much research on this compound specifically but there is a good amount of research on ATD people speculate that it has a lot of similar effects because it is so closely related to ATD so how this product lowers estrogen and increases testosterone is there's an enzyme that converts testosterone into estrogen and this compound basically binds to that enzyme and destroys it so you end up with more testosterone because the testosterone cannot be converted into estrogen, and then you end up with less estrogen because there's no conversion process, so you end up with more testosterone, less estrogen, which is the goal. And I think I read at one point that it also increases the base hormones, so your body's like, why don't we have estrogen in our body? We need a certain balance of estrogen. Let's pump out more of those hormones that end up turning into testosterone and estrogen because we're having a hormone imbalance. So it can increase base hormones that end up turning into testosterone. You end up with more testosterone because it's not converted and you end up with less estrogen because there's no conversion. It's funny online, they call this like a suicidal aromatase inhibitor and they're like, it destroys the enzyme. I don't really understand chemistry and all that, but eventually those enzymes have to come back. So maybe you destroy that that enzyme but somehow you get more you can't just take a bunch of this and then all the enzymes are dead that's kind of the way they make it seem but it's not that crazy as far as the muscle building effects this compound was really effective i really liked it my go-to dosage was about half of a vial one to two times a day two times if i remembered it but i've been going through a really stressful situation i haven't been eating the best i haven't been sleeping the best so it's probably not the best time for me to test this compound, but I know my body really well. And when I don't eat very good, when I don't sleep very good, my physique just gets trashed. It doesn't look very good. And I was constantly surprised how good my physique looked when I wasn't taking care of myself as good as I wanted to. And with the Epiandro, the main reason I couldn't take it was because it messed with my mood so much. And this compound seems to not do any of that. I mean, at one point I took some and I actually felt a lot better. The very first time I took it, I took a full vial and I felt a little agitated for like two to three hours, but that's not bad at all. Maybe it's because I took the full vial. Maybe it's because I had some caffeine. I really don't know. I've taken this compound quite a bit since then, and I've had no issues with mood. And one time it actually increased my mood. So as far as anger, frustration, or chemical imbalance, this one didn't bother me too much. And I tend to prefer these kinds of compounds where there's like a back door to it increasing testosterone naturally versus you just putting testosterone in your body, which is going to shut off your natural testosterone. I have to do some more testing, but it's right up there with AMP from Vintage Muscle. I really like AMP as well. AMP is a Turkesterone ectosterone blend. I had really good effects off that one. This one felt a little bit more drier. The muscles are gonna be a little harder than Turkesterone and ectosterone. It's gonna have a little bit more of a dry look, a more cut look. All right, then the second compound you got here is this Cycle Support PCT. So to be honest, guys, I was a little bit afraid to test this compound just because I had a couple rough days when I took the EpiAndro. So I'm like, man, I really don't wanna have those problems again. 
I don't want to go through like a day or two of feeling weird, feeling off. So I actually took this compound for about a week before I took this one. And the whole time I've been testing, I have not tried any other compounds, no tercasterone, no laxogenin, nothing. So I could see how these compounds specifically affect my body. So I started out with this one for about a week, then I introduced this one. I was kind of expecting this to perform a little bit similarly to the methyl test because the methyl test is kind of like a testosterone booster, very similar to this one. But as far as the muscle gaining side of things on this compound specifically, I didn't notice too, too much, but if you look at the compounds here, I would say half the ingredients here are liver health and organ health, which I really appreciate. It's a PCT. So when you take steroids, when you take hormones, it does tax your organs, tax your liver. So most people will take a PCT or an on cycle where they'll take natural supplements to help cleanse their organs while they're going through a cycle. So I would say this compound is half about increasing testosterone and half about being good for your organs. So paired with this, they're absolutely great. And as far as extreme muscle building compounds, this is way more up my alley than any sort of hormones or DHEA or anything else like that. I actually really like this stack. I just wish this one was a little bit more potent but again, half of it is designed for organ health. So you're not really gonna get a lot of gains when you're taking things for organ health. And this one was super impressive. Again, most hormones really mess with my mood, like literally 24 seven, I feel bad, I feel weird. I don't feel that from tergesterone slash ectosterone in AMP. And I don't feel it with this compound as well. And I highly recommend starting off with half a vial just to see how you react to it. And as far as my libido, again, I haven't been eating well, I haven't been sleeping well. That can definitely mess with my libido, but as far as I could tell, everything was functioning good, everything was functioning great. Uh, a lot of times when you take hormones, they can mess with your libido. Certain times it'll shoot it through the roof. I would say most of the time it actually can lower your libido. So for me, I don't mess with anything that lowers my libido and I don't mess with anything that makes me agitated. So anyways, guys, I really like this stack. It's probably my personal favorite stack from Vintage Muscle. If you're somebody who wants natural testosterone support, lower estrogen, a good mood, good libido, it's hard for me not to recommend this stack. I really, really enjoyed it. So anyways, guys, let me know what your favorite muscle building compounds are. Do you know of another anti-estrogen that works better than this compound? I'd be very interested to see. We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I couldn't do it without any of you guys' help. You guys are the best. Have a great day out here. Hopefully having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.